Hi guys, it's me, Matt, the Magman, coming to you from my mag laboratory. This is where I am, employing the help of the Mrs. Mag, <laughs> who's dutifully helping me hold the camera. So, today I wanted to talk to you about patterns. Patterns we find in numbers. Because here's the thing, right? Many great mathematicians think they're not very good at math, because they think maths is all about doing hard sums and oh, the brain melts and it's hard work and it's not it's about looking for patterns and understanding how they all work so consequently many people who are really good at maths think they're not so i'm going to show you something super cool uh, to hopefully get your your old gray matter working what i have here on my beautiful table is uh, some various different patterns um, on the top i've got some odd numbers we know what the odd numbers are they're all the numbers that aren't in the two times table. So we have one, three, five, seven, and all the way over there, nine. These are the odd numbers. On the bottom, I have what are known as square numbers, which is nice because they actually look square. Square numbers are numbers times by themselves. For example, one times one is one. Two times two is four. 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, and of course 5 times 5 is 25. Now, many years ago, there's this guy called Fibonacci, super cool dude, uh, really loved his maths, and he wrote a book called The Book of Squares, not just for boring people, this is for cool people too, and he was one of the first people to understand the relationship between odd numbers and square numbers. And I'm going to show you the relationship between them. This is really cool. So, one is exactly the same as the first square number. The first odd number is the same as the first square number. But if I had one plus three, which is one plus the second odd number, I get four, which is exactly the same as the second square number. Two times two is four. We'll do it again. Uh, one plus three plus five equals nine, which is exactly the same as the third square number. Three times three, nine. We'll do it again. One plus three plus five plus seven gives us 16, which is the same as the fourth square number. Four times four, 16. We'll do it one more time. One plus three plus five plus seven plus nine gives us... 25, which is of course the same as the fifth square number. Five times five, 25. This absolutely beautiful pattern can go on and on and on forever and ever and ever and just keep going. And this is what makes, makes maths so exciting. It's all about looking for cool patterns and understanding how some patterns are very similar to other patterns. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to dig out your mag formulas. Get a pen and paper, figure out what different types of sequences of numbers can you come up with. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, we know that, that's the two times two table. Six, twelve. Who knows, you'll come up with some fun uh, sequences and numbers yourself. Anyway, there we are. That is a, a beautiful introduction to Fibonacci's relationship between odd numbers and square numbers. As always, happy building. Wash your hands, and I will see you guys really soon. <laughs> Take care.